In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, how to code Twitter tweets that I captured using a website called tracker.com. And we're going to code those tweets using Microsoft Excel. And for those tweets that are not in English, we're going to use Google Translate. Okay, so I'm going to go to the file I downloaded with the results of my Twitter tweet uh, search. And uh, so here's what I've got. And what we have is the title of the tweet, the URL, which will be Twitter. That's going to be the same across all of them. The actual tweet, which is called the description, the date of the tweet, and the media type will also be the same for all of them, the sentiment and the influence. All right, so I like to bold the variable names. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And then I like to make the actual tweet bigger so I can see what it is and I'm going to be going to be uh, coding these different tweets for different themes so one thing you'll notice is particularly if you don't do a search using a hashtag that you'll find a lot of irrelevant tweets so I like to create a variable that's simply called irrelevant all right, and then I'm going to shrink this down a little bit so I can see the tweets. And okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for those tweets that don't really have anything to do with fracking, which is the method for extracting natural gas that is quite controversial. And uh, this is why I'm studying it. But you can see people like to use the word frack in a range of ways. <laughs> Uh, you know, here you go, Lester, just frack it up, please. You know, what does that mean? I don't know. So I'm going to call that one irrelevant. So when something's irrelevant, I'm going to give it a one. All right. And so I can go through, I mean, I'll go through the first 100 of these tweets just to show you what I'm, the process. Uh, oh, frack that. Okay. That doesn't really mean anything. Uh, Okay, now here's here's a good example of where sometimes fracks are in Spanish. You know, the United States is not a, a monolingual country. It's in fact the fourth largest uh, Spanish-speaking country in the world. So I like to use something called Google Translate, which is simply translate.google.com, and you can paste in something. And over here, see it says Spanish, and over there it says English. And I could sleep until 3 a.m., so it doesn't really say much, but that just shows you how to do this. Uh, okay, sometimes it wants to paste a formula in or something like that. So I just hit Enter. I'm not sure what it's trying to do, honestly. <laughs> okay, got out of that. And I'll undo what I did. Okay. Uh, so that one was picked up simply because the person is Patty Frick Frack, whatever that means. So again, an irrelevant one. So what I'm really looking for, of course, are those that are related to the actual concept. Uh, so let's see, no new technology comes without assorted risks. Okay, so now they're talking about the risk of fracking. So what I do is that when I want to make a new theme is I create a new column. So let's maybe call this one health. Okay, so this is going to be about the health risks, the health impacts of fracking. Okay, so I'll again bring that down. And every time I see a tweet that has to do with health, I'm going to code that as a one also. So this one's talking about going to the hospital. That could be related. Uh, but let's see there. There we go. Public, public health is one of the hashtags, so we'll code that one as health. All right, one for that. Uh, 
Let me see here. If I'll just go through a few more and see if I can find one. That one's irrelevant. Okay. Food and farms. Well, that's probably another theme. Uh, maybe that's implicitly related to health, and maybe we want to have a separate code for explicit or implicit. Uh, okay, let's see. Or we could just start a new new theme altogether. Maybe we'll call one food and farms. Something like that. You know, maybe this is a theme that has a lot. Maybe it's not. We can always delete themes, add new ones. We have a lot of freedom there. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, poking fun at uh, fracking fluid. There's this kind of running joke about fraco cola, which is like a, an imagined drink made of fracking fluids, which of course is a chemical cocktail, not really meant to be consumed. So that one is probably a statement about health, I would say. It's, it's kind of implicit, but you know, health certainly on people's mind when they're they're suggesting you drink fraca cola making fun of the danger dangerous chemicals and fracking fluid there's the food and farm one all right let's see fracking debate elise jones switch drink of choice craft craft brew to frack fluid so again that's the one about health all right this one another one about the fracking cola it's kind of a new joke. I think you know, these jokes tend to go viral in Twitter. People read each other's tweets. Okay, so this one is just another irrelevant one. All right. Uh, sometimes I like kind of totes. Twitter's texting plans about my boring is for. That's irrelevant. How they let. Jose even get to first base. Okay, so there's another <laughs> irrelevant one. This be, who says coding's boring? This can be quite entertaining. Uh, more evidence that fracking causes earthquakes. So there we've got a new theme coming up. So let's maybe call this one earthquakes. All right. Kind of have to move the, the view around sometimes. In fact, I'm just going to lose the URL because that's always going to be the same to give me a little more room here. Now I can see all my codes. All right, so I'm working with about three now. Okay, so there's the earthquake one. Boom. Uh, okay, that one is irrelevant. The big frack bubble. Now, the other thing about Twitter tweets is they often have links to other websites and to properly code the tweet it's probably a good idea to actually examine the website so let's see what this one is about so here we have a whole article uh, so this is the next bubble kind of talking about probably an economic bubble let's see Coal and nuclear power industries have seen better days. The main culprit energy industry in the USA is the low cost of domestic natural gas. Instead of paying the high cost to upgrade coal-fired plants, they're making the switch to natural gas. Okay, well, see, this is not quite as simple as coding a single sentence, as you can tell, but you can kind of read into it and figure out what the main themes are and uh, why they posted this link but uh, I'm gonna say this is mainly about the economics alright so I'm going to start a new theme here the economics of fracking All right, it's mainly what the, the tweet is about Okay, let's see, what have we got next? There's that same one. 
Now one of the questions that comes up when you're coding these is what to do with redundant or retweeted posts and uh, I just code them independently. Uh, you might even come up with another code called repeated or something like that and then you could examine the number of times a particular tweet is retweeted and that that's interesting piece of information. And that's all we're really trying to do is gather information about tweets. So any kind of information you can code, and you can code everything 0, 1 for the presence or absence of that term. And that's really what we're trying to do here. So you can see, I'm not going to go any further. You get the basic idea. This is how you do uh, content analysis using Microsoft Excel. And when you're done, you can always create a, a formula to, to sum up the number of times particular concepts appear or you can save the file open it up in SPSS then you can do more sophisticated types of charts and analysis